Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Pastor Watson, New Testament Christian Church, Shreveport, Bossier City, Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana. And on this national day of celebration and of giving thanks to God for the many blessings that he has given us, uh, which we have enjoyed throughout the year, I'd like to take this opportunity to encourage you and to remind you that it is indeed appropriate that we do observe such days of celebration, for they honor God for his goodness. And I'd like to read a passage of scripture from the book of Nehemiah. In chapter 8 it says, So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly, and gave the sense, and caused them to understand the reading. And Nehemiah, and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught the people, said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. The setting here is that after the, the sins of the nation of Israel had brought the judgment of captivity upon them where they were carried away into foreign lands, uh, for 70 years they had been uh, in exile and the Jews were, were away from their homeland. The, the city of Jerusalem and the temple had, had lie in rubble. And, and Ezra and Nehemiah were men called by God to lead the people back in successive stages to rebuild the temple and to rebuild the walls of the city, and to resettle their homeland, to settle into that country where they could worship God freely and according to his purpose for his called people. This passage in Nehemiah chapter 8 uh, tells of the reading of the scripture in a public assembly as, as all the work had been completed. And as Ezra the priest read, the people mourned and they grieved over the sins of their ancestors and for the regret of their long captivity. And it's become fashionable in America for some people to look at the events such as uh, the first Thanksgiving and other times in our history through a lens clouded by the misdeeds and the sins of, of other people in history and other generations and other places. And, and those issues, they're to be dealt with separately. Uh, just as God dealt with the sinful generations of Israel appropriately in their times. But we're right. We're right to find the remarkably good things in our history and to learn from them and to strive to emulate them. Continuing down through Nehemiah chapter 8, it says, Nehemiah, the Ezra, the priest, the scribe, the Levites taught the people and said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, nor weep, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. And he said unto them, Go your way. Eat the fat, drink the sweet, send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be ye sorry. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites stilled all the people and said, Hold your peace, for the day is holy, neither be ye grieved. And all the people went their way to eat and to drink and to send portions and to make great mirth, because they had understood the words that were declared unto them. Nehemiah told the people to rejoice, and it's good for God's people to rejoice in the blessings that he has given us. God intends to bless and to show his favor towards those that trust in him and to live according to his ways. Nehemiah and Ezra, in their generation, they were doing right and they were being blessed as a result of their obedience, despite the difficulties that they had endured, or even perhaps because of their patience and their trust in God through those difficulties. And as we look back on our history in America, we see that the Mayflower Pilgrims were a generation that did things right before God. They endured hardships faithfully so that they could worship God freely. And God blessed them. And they rejoiced and gave thanks to God. Too often on holidays or at other times meant for celebration, there are people who want to emphasize something negative, something sorrowful, or some loss. And God deals with those issues, okay? But God also blesses. And in these blessings, we have joy and every reason to rejoice and give God thanks. As Nehemiah said, this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Find something to give God thanks for today. Give God thanks for everything. The more that you find to give thanks for the more you will find that you have to be thankful for. And in giving thanks to God, we gain joy from Him. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you.